sometimes it happens that you set up the minimum order amount to get the free shipping for example fifty dollars and now you want to advertise this to your customers out of the box woocommerce does not have the option to do that maybe you can put up the shop notice but uh, it looks quite bad therefore in this video i'm going to show you how you can set up your free shipping amount and you can show it on the product page for example buy 32 euros worth more products to get free shipping i'm also going to show you how to show the notification on the cart page and if you are using the cadence team i'm gonna show how to show this on the side cart so let's jump in first things first in order to accomplish all that you need to install one more plugin to your site or you may not want to install it you can also add the code i'm going to provide to your child team or teams functions php file but i would not recommend it since if you're going to change the teams you're going to lose this option therefore go to the plugins and press add new now search for code snippets plugin there it is install it and after that activate it now let's add the snippets to your site go to the snippets and add a new give it the title something which describes what you're going to do for example free shipping notification next i'm gonna provide you a code snippet which looks like this we're going to add the notific notification to the single product page we're going to say that the amount for the free shipping is 50 and here is a message buy words product more to get the free shipping and continue shopping in order to add this snippet to your single product page i'm gonna show you a nice visual hook guide just search woocommerce visual hook series and you will land on the business bloomer site visual hook series on this site you will find lots of uh, useful visual hook guides for woocommerce and uh, different teams also but what we are looking for is a single product page hooks as you see there are lots of hooks here so if i want to add the notification above the product title i would use this one here but i'm using woocommerce share that means that i'm going to add this notification below the product tags and categories so far so good so let's activate it ah one more thing i'm going to mark that i'm i i want to run it only on front end so save changes and activate and let's see whether it worked shop and here it is the great thing about this snippet is also that if you add something to cart it will calculate the correct amount your customer needs to buy in order to get the free shipping for example take a look i'm adding this 50 euros costing product to cart and it says i have to buy another 20 euros update now it's five euros and if i'm gonna update one more the notification is gone because that the amount for free shipping is reached next one let's add uh, this notification to the cart page adding to the cart view cart back to the visual hooks now i'm gonna open the cart page and i want to add this notification before cart table therefore i'm gonna go to the snippets copy paste and now 
couple of things we need to do. First things first, we have to change the function name. For example, cart page notice. Also, we have to change it here, otherwise it won't work. And now let's copy this one here and paste it here. Description for ourselves, so in the future, if needed, we know what it is exactly. Save changes, card page refresh, and there it is. Last one, if you are using the Cadence team or any other team that uses custom hooks, then you can put the notification wherever you need it. For example, I'm gonna add it after the sidecar table. Once again, I'm gonna copy this one. Description. Let's change the function again. And here also. Now we need to change the hook here. And hook we are going to use is cadence after side cart. Save changes. Let's refresh. Open the side cart and here it is. So as you saw it's not so difficult to accomplish. And all these three snippets can be found in the description of this video. Another pro tip for you, let's open up this again. As you see, the styling of this box is taken from the WooCommerce message. And we declare it here, WooCommerce message. Now if I want to style it by myself, then I'm going to add my own class, for example, box1. If I change it and refresh it here, all the styling is gone. Now I'm going to open up the customizer, additional CSS, box one, and now I'm going to style it. So basically you need to know a bit of CSS to accomplish that. Background, the padding. text line a bit of margin between the box and the meta information up here and that's all there it is three simple steps and within the 10 minutes you have added the notification on the single page on the side cart and on the cart page so if you find this video useful then press thumbs up, subscribe and uh, in the future you will be the first to get a notification about the new tips and tricks about WordPress. Meanwhile, take care.